Here we are aboard the Paul R. Tregurtha on June 10, 2011. We have arrived in Superior, Wisconsin, and the uh, ship is taking on uh, coal for the DTE Energy power plants in St. Clair and Monroe, Michigan. Uh, interesting fact is that the two plants burn two different uh, types of coal. Uh, I guess the coal burns a different uh, BTUs, and so the uh, the ship will be loaded with two different types of coal and uh, so obviously the coal will need to be uh, separated uh, into the various uh, holds. Uh, we'll be taking on a, a full load uh, in excess of 60,000 tons uh, today. So uh, you can see that uh, they've begun the process, the hatches are off, uh, the holds are open, and uh, um, the uh, coals started to be dumped into the, the holds. We'll take a walk down uh, onto the deck and uh, peek into the, the cargo holds, which are massive, and uh, watch some of the operation as well as uh, talk to uh, one of the uh, operators of the equipment. Uh, you can see him down near the hopper there. Uh, towards the end of the clip, we'll, we'll uh, talk to him and hear about uh, some of the operation. I'm going to go down and take a look at the loading operation down here. Looks like uh, Jeff, one of the maids, the third mate down there watching things. See, I thought each of these hatches were their own hold, but obviously that's not the case. Yeah. gates down there I guess Western coal is cheaper than Eastern coal. E Eastern coal is more. Is that guy over there, Jeff, controlling that right now? What's that? That guy over there controlling the whole thing right now? Yeah, he's got a remote control there. So there's nobody up in that gantry up there? No. Years ago they used that, but now it's all remote control. Is he one of the ship's crew controlling that, or is that one no, of the no. uh, dock crew? He's dock crew. Yeah. In fact, that remote control he's got, he pulls all the belts and everything off. Really? Yeah, he just shut the whole system down from right there. Wow. But you don't fill up each one, you fill up every second or third one. That's the spillover, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's in the right spot. We gotta go, go space it out some. 
come as we're pumping the water out, and then we'll come back again. Oh, we're come six, we'll start again back at 28, work our way back up. Gotcha. Uh, then this will be the, the other cargo for St. Clair. We'll start that up. Now, when you got, you're loading two different grades, right? Yeah, two different. And where do you, do you put the St. Clair grade in the front, and the grade in the back, and vice versa? We have five work? cargo holds. Okay. So two and four are going to get the Monroe stuff. Okay. One, three, and five are getting the St. Clair. Okay. So one of them loads more quantity than the other one. No, so they're both about the same. Okay. About 30,000 of each. 60,000 tons. Yeah. Maybe 30,000 for Manolan, maybe 31, 32, 30, 30. It might be a little more than this time because they're actually grabbing a little bit. We're only loading down to 26 before, now we're going to go to 26. Right? Are there, there's two different types. It's all western coal, or yeah. It's all western. We have the belt runs under the pile or reclaim tunnel. Get back to something. You can see the pile clear of the sky up there. There's a reclaim tunnel down on the ground underneath. The steel dog hooks over the top of it. And then motor on it. Yeah. We have cars to travel.